Soon, the annual weapon design competition is back. To test what might be encountered in the field, the competing guns are subjected to water soaking and buried in sand and soil. Under these real-life simulations, all the other guns in the competition had problems of one kind or another. They either jammed in the water or failed outright in the sand. Only the AK-47 of Kara design, whether it's been soaked in water or tumbled in the sand, it remained accurate and stable. Whether it's a point and shoot or a burst, it hits the target with precision. Kara finally managed to win the championship, and the AK-47 finally went into mass production. In 1949, Kara was awarded the highest medal of honor. He was invited to the capital for a military parade. His rifle became the, the standard weapon of the army, and the firearm was named Kalashnikov 1947 Automatic Rifle, AK-47 for short. Seeing his gun in widespread use, Carla's heart was full of satisfaction. He was only 28 years old at the time. From 1947 to the present day, the AK-47 has been used by armies all over the world. Although Kara's original design was for peace, at least 300,000 people die each year from the AK-47. It is now the world's deadliest gun, but there is nothing wrong with the weapon itself. It's the people who use it that are at fault. It's like a knife. Some people use it to fight for justice, and some people use it to kill and burn.